Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a stopwatch timer in Camtasia. Alright, so you may have seen those videos where they have a timer on the screen, whether the timer is, you know, counting up or it's counting down. Like if someone's doing like, I'll do this in five minutes and then they have the counter going on the screen. That's what I'm going to show you guys how to do and create in Camtasia. Now, again, this is out of the box thinking and you have to take Camtasia, the tools that are given to you in Camtasia and use them outside of Camtasia. So there isn't actually a feature where it says, you know, create timer here. You need to actually create one outside on a website and I'll show you the website in a second and then record it and then import it in Camtasia. And I'll show you the whole steps, don't worry. So this is what I created. I'll play it on the screen here. It's a one minute timer. And then it's just like a standard one minute timer and I made it really big here on the screen and it looks, you know, clean, professional. And let's get to the end here when it does like a little flashing thing. You know, and you can have sounds to this music as well. So let me show you how I created this. First, you need to head over to a website called online-stopwatch.com and the link is right there. And it's a very basic looking site, but it does offer some cool stuff. So you can see here when you scroll down to the bottom, it's got all different kinds of clocks, stopwatches, timers. And the one that I chose was large stopwatch. And if you hover over them, they'll explain what's happening. So large stopwatch, it says use the stopwatch in full screen. Great for meetings, classrooms, uh, conferences, schools, anywhere really. Okay, and then there's something like a chess clock. So when you play the game of chess, they have a clock for that as well. So let's use the one that I did for the example, large stopwatch. And you guys can check out the other options, but it looks like something like this. And if you want the stopwatch to, if you want the time to go up, the counter to go up, you click that one. If you want to do a countdown, then you click this one. I did a one minute countdown. So let me go back to countdown. And then you've got this thing right here and you punch in your time that you want. So I did one, zero, zero, click set. It's very basic. And then you click the start button. Before you click the start button, you actually want to record this through your Camtasia screen recorder. So if I head back to Camtasia, this button right here, the record button, that allows you to do screen record. That's how I'm recording this video right now. That's how you see my screen and that's how you see me on video. So because I'm already recording, I can't click it again because I've already, I'm, I'm using it right now. So it won't allow me, it would basically stop this video if I did that. But I did do a pre-recording of it to show you guys as an example, and that's here, right here. So basically what you would do is you would click the record button, the remote would pop up at the bo bottom right, and then you would click record while you're on this screen. You would click record first, it's recording. Then you would click the start button, and then when it gets down to zero, then you click the clear or done button or whatever it says at the end of zero, I can't remember. So I'm just going to pause this and let's pretend like we've done that, which I've already have. And that's right here. When you're done recording it, you're going to click stop recording and, it, and then it's going to show up in your media bin. Now I already have this. Okay. So this right here, this is what the whole thing looks like. So this is going to turn into this, which looks much cleaner and much neater. So this is how it started off and I did the same thing. See, you can see me, I click set and then I click start and then it's starting to go. So now how you make it look like this is you've got to remove some things and make the volume go down, that type of thing. So first thing is I'm going to delete the camera portion because I don't need me in the timer. I, I, I don't need that. I just need the screen. So I'm going to click on the actual camera 
and then I'm going to click delete and then I'm gone. So now I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to edit the audio just in case there was any other audio like me clicking around or me talking. Um, I'm going to minimize that so now we have no audio right now. I can add music to it later or add like a timer type sound. I can add that for sure. So now we need to clip and crop this so that it looks like this. So now I'm going to click on this, head over to the top, go over to the cropping tool area, and I'm going to crop this so that I only have like the clean space and the timer. Now you can see here it's kind of like it's locking into place and you're like, oh no, it's cutting off. It's because it's clicking to the middle. So what you can actually do is move it away from the middle and then do your crop and then it's not going to clip on. So you'll go like that and then you can go from the sides here. However close you want to go to the numbers like this and then you can make this larger or this is too large. You can make this larger or as small as you want. So now it looks like this one. You can even make it tiny if you just want it, you know, at the bottom of your screen or something while it's playing, something like that. And that is how you create your own timer. Now, I only showed you one type of website. There's many different kinds of websites, so you can get different looks and different feels for them. If you want something a little bit different, if, like this is just like a really plain one, I'm sure that there's really cool crazy ones on other free uh, timer websites. And after you've got that, you can add that to your videos on top, like you would have a video behind this playing, or it's just the entire screen, whatever you want to do with it, add music, add a sound if you want like an actual sound per second or every 10 seconds, you can do that as well. But that is how you create and add a timer in Camtasia. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you guys want to check out the Camtasia software, you guys can head down to the description below. I will have the links for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.